everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm out here finally starting to finish up this uh, air intake vent. Uh, you can see here, this is the vent that goes down into the root cellar, which is right over there where the sunflower is starting to grow on top. Uh, I'm putting a cap on, on this side. If we ever want to use the root cellar vent, we have to move the cap from one side to another. That's sort of a, a kink in the whole system, because that would take a little bit of time to do it if we were doing an emergency, but it's what I've got for now. Uh, this is what I'm installing right now. This is going to be the air intake that goes into the house. I've been drilling from the inside to cut through the foundation to get out here, and I've been cutting a trench from here uh, to meet kind of like the tra transcontinental railroad here in the United States where it met in the middle, or I think they did that with that uh, tunnel from England to France as well, met in the middle, right? Maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Uh, what we have is uh, from the house, uh, it comes out straight, there's a little bit of a kick, I think it's a 12 and a half degree uh, angle, comes over for a little bit, and then there's another 12 and a half degree angle, and it comes over to here. Why 12 and a half degrees? I happen to have a couple of 12 and a half degree uh, bends, a pair of them, so I use that to kind of uh, kick it over to, to here. Um, it's about three paces from the house to the first bend, uh, then some undetermined amount of distance uh, across there, and then four and a half paces from here to the bend on this side. So three paces out from the house, four and a half paces out from this thing. Why am I telling you that? I'm not really, I'm leaving that as a note to myself in the future if I ever need to find these uh, bends again. Uh, I'm trying to visualize here. I've actually used a lot of the videos in the series to find things in walls. Like, oh, where did I run that wire? I go back to an earlier video, and there it is. If you're ever doing something like this, it's a really good idea to kind of document stuff. Uh, you know, take pictures of walls before you put the sheathing up. Uh, so, you, you know, you know where all the plumbing is, know where all the, uh, all the electrical is and everything, or stuff underground. All right, so uh, what I'm doing right now is I've got uh, this section of pipe. I've got a cap on the end to keep dirt from getting in there. I've glued together a couple of 45-degree angle bends here. Why 45s instead of 190? Because uh, I happen to have a couple of 45s. Also, when I was setting this uh, into the concrete there, I made the concrete um, footing for that a little bit too wide, so I, I kind of need to kind of kick away from it a little bit to get around the concrete. So between having the spare parts and uh, the needs of the concrete down there, it worked out really nicely to have uh, those. I got everything here ready to go. I'm going to be gluing this joint in this video if the uh, run on this uh, video recording is long enough. I've got a board to put on top here. I've got a mini sledge to tap it down. I want to have all the things ready to go because once I start putting glue on pipes, uh, it cures really quickly and you want to just go. This is not ideal. You really want to put the pipe in and twist it while it goes in. I'm not really going to have the ability to do that. But these pipes aren't going to be under pressure or anything like that, although it would be nice for them to be water uh, watertight. But we're going to do the best we can. So uh, we got this uh, all-purpose ABS PVC stuff. Uh, the white fittings are PVC, the black is ABS. Uh, and I think I'm ready to go. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on Gotta get these plants back a little more. A little bit of glue on the black pipe, and then glue on uh, on this white pipe. Ah, oh, there's spiders falling in there. I wanted to try to pre wanted to try to prevent as much junk going in there as possible. Okay, so here we go. We'll give it a try. It's a new container of glue, but it's it's kind of it's kind of lumpy. Okay, here we go. Getting the glue all around here. You ideally want to have a larger brush for four inch diameter pipes. I didn't have a larger brush, so this is what I've got. Oh, come on. This is taking longer than it really should. Uh, okay, trying to glop this stuff on. Nice thing with this is it's going to be underground. It doesn't have to look pretty or anything. I just want to get a shit ton of this glue in there to really choke up the joint. So we're not having water penetrate in here. Okay, so we line it up, and now we gotta tap this guy down. Ugh, not ideal. Well, that was okay. This is one of those jobs that really would have been better for two people. A lot of the stuff I do would be good for two people, but you work with what you got with. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, here online talk about how it's hard. You know, you feel like they're the only one in their family doing this stuff, and it's uh, it can be frustrating to work on your own for things. Trust me, I know what that feels. 